Like and subscribe or you'll have two weeks of bad luck. There have been a lot of civilizations before us. Can you believe it? Because I can. Our world has been going on for a long time, and those civilizations could potentially be lost for all of eternity. Hello, my name is Blake, and these are the top 10 lost civilizations. Number 10. Not to be confused with the Tasmanian Devil, this is perhaps the most tragic example included on this entire list. The Aboriginal Tasmanians are a digitous group of people on the Australian state of Tasmania, which is located south of the mainland prior to the arrival of European explorers. The Tasmanian people had inhabited the island for 40,000 years. So how did they get there? Well, it wasn't always an island, and there was once a land bridge connecting it to the mainland. Over that time, they developed numerous cultures in different tribal groups, and maintained a thriving civilization on the island. That was until the Europeans arrived in the late 18th and early 19th century. Since then, the population of the Aboriginal peoples had been completely decimated by disease and Western intervention by 1833. There are approximately 200 surviving Aboriginal Tasmanians, and they were tricked to surrender themselves with the promise that they would be protected and provided for. But this just didn't happen. Instead, they were moved around from island to island where diseases continued to reduce the already small population. Today, there are many people who claim to be descendants of the Aboriginal Tasmanians, because they are children of native women who made it with the Europeans. Unfortunately, as is common among native peoples, invaded or colonized by Western powers, the indigenous Tasmanian language has been completely lost. Thankfully, however, there have been some efforts to reconstruct the language from certain works that have remained with a group of people known as the Palawat people. Number 9. In Africa, there have been many nations which have risen up to be mighty kingdoms and empires. And during the 3rd to 6th century CE, the second Ox M was an empire that started out in Ethiopia and then slowly took hold in all of Northern Africa, but not for the reasons that you might expect. You see, this empire was not one who governed through power and arms, but rather through trade. At their peak, they used the Nile River and the Red Sea to have a wide-ranging trade of market that many other nations partook in. Though their empire lasted many hundreds of years, eventually they were overpowered and dethroned via the empires of the Persian and the Arabs. Despite this, the Auxan Empire has inspired many legends. As to all of the things they did in trade, some of their cities also reside still in Ethiopia. One of the most popular legends that came from the Auxan Empire is that they were trading and actually got the mythical Ark of the Covenant, which is important for numerous reasons. Not the least of which is that the Auxan Empire became a Christian nation later on in its life. Adding to that, it's said to be the purported home of the Queen of Sheba. Number 8. The Maya civilization was a Mesoamerican civilization that existed in the Americas before the Europeans arrived on the continent. Over millennia, they developed complex societies with impressive art, architecture, astronomical systems, mathematics, and calendar development. Oh, and they also practiced human sacrifices at its height. The modern-day Guatemala and Belize are the western parts of modern-day Honduras and El Salvador. A mighty empire considering the terrain and distances that they would have had to travel, the development of the civilization dates to before 2000 BCE, when the first development in agriculture and early settlements are recorded. In the following millennia, they developed complex societies and built monumental cities, while they went through stages of urbanization. Although the ultimate decline of the civilization was the result of the Spanish conquistador, the model for the Mayan civilization, which was based on the ritual authority of the ruler, was poorly structured, and by the 9th and 10th century CE II, many of the large cities had been abandoned before the Spanish had even arrived. Nevertheless, when they did arrive, they went about destroying what remained of this once great civilization. Thankfully, many smaller villages survived Spanish colonial authority, and today, many people still speak the Mayan-related languages. Number 7. Said to have existed for about 2,000 years, specifically from 3300 to 1300 BC, the Indus Valley Civilization was believed to have had the lands throughout modern-day Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India, which means it covered quite a bit of land, but mainly near the Indus River hence the name of the civilization. The civilization was uncovered via archaeological digs, including ones that found farming villages, as well as major towns belonging to the once big civilization. And as they found houses, they realized that these people were much more advanced than the time period led on. 
They had an advanced drainage system for their houses and cities. The documents from other nations near there noted there were many major events within the civilization, so much so that they were known for their exotic wares, meaning plentiful markets and trading opportunities. However, despite all of this knowledge, there is still a lot we don't know about them, including their writings. Many examples of their writings have been found to be clear yet. We haven't been able to decipher them at all. We also don't know much about their history. Historians aren't sure why this civilization was in this exact region, their style of civilization was as a whole, and most importantly, what happened to them. There are many theories, but no definitive answers as of yet. Number 6. The Aztec Empire was one of the great pre-Columbian civilizations. Also referred to as the Mexico culture, it is prevalent in the post-classic period from about 13,000 to 1521. During this time they developed complex cultures, with impressive architecture, art astronomical knowledge, calendars, complex regions, and mythologies. Oh, and like the Mayan civilizations, the Aztecs also practiced in human sacrifice. But they took it to a whole new level, with one account suggesting that they sacrificed 80,400 prisoners in just four days, for a particular event. However, these numbers also debated by academics. Nevertheless, it was a gruesome practice, and there are some detailed bloody depictions of these rituals that have survived in the archaeological record. Thankfully, the practice itself died out with the arrival of the Spanish associated with the Aztec civilization. The Aztec Empire, which began as an alliance between three city-states, plucked upon together. They ruled the Valley of Mexico between 1428 until the Spanish conquistadors defeated them in 1521. Like all great Mesoamerican civilizations, the Aztecs did not stand a chance when the Spanish arrived, with their cannons, shiny armor, and New World diseases. Number 5. In the area known as Latin America, there have been nations who have had great empires, but as archaeology has revealed, there are even more who resided within these lands than you might think. Such as the Cadal Supe. Though the full scope of the former empire is unknown, there is a strong belief that the empire resided for the most part in Peru, around the Supe River, which is part of the reason of how it got its name. What might surprise you though is the age of the empire, which is said to have been around 5000 BC. One of the biggest traces of this ancient civilization can be found in the form of the sacred city of Cadal Supe. As it's known by those who dug it up, this city showed just how big this nation got. Because just within this city were a temple of six super pyramids, plazas, and more indicating they not only had a large empire, but also the architectural know-how to build very impressive buildings. Today the city is an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 4. Considered the earliest known major civilization in Mexico, the Olmec civilization dates from about 1500 BCE to 400 BCE. The heartland of their civilization was the area of the Gulf Lowlands. Archaeological evidence suggests that they had their roots in early farming cultures, which dates back to around 5100 BCE. They developed unique artistic styles and were adept at making human and animal-like portrayals. There is even evidence to suggest that they might have performed bloodletting, and they appear to have had a good understanding of astronomy with some attributing the long count calendar and the concept of zeros to the Olmecs. So here's their story. Like many great ancient civilizations, archaeologists don't know for sure, but they identified a significant drop in the population towards the end of the culture, and theories explaining this range from changing environments to natural disasters, such as volcanic eruptions like much of ancient history, it's doubtful that we'll ever know the full extent of what happen to the Olmec. Number 3. Sometimes proof of ancient civilizations exist, even though we have no clue as to which civilization was the one who made it. One such example is found in Iran in 2002, at a place now called Konar Sandal, which can now be found near Geoft, a city in the southern part of Iran. Near there is a terrorist complex called a ziggurat. But it wasn't just a simple terrace, it was an old one, a very very old one, such so that it's believed to be one of the oldest of its kind. Yet, for a long time, it was buried, which leaves a lot of questions. As to who made it, there are clues. However, as to who built Konar Sandal, nobody knows. For example, the age of the complex is believed to be around 2200 BC, which is believed to be the time period for a Bronze Age kingdom, known as the Arata. This kingdom was documented in Sumerian texts, but there's been no definitive clues as to where the kingdom came from, or resided. Unfortunately, many items that could have helped find answers to the questions about Konar Sandal were looted, and many unauthorized digs have happened here, as well leaving many to wonder if the true nature and origin of this place will ever be discovered. Number 2. There is much debate about whether the myth of Atlantis is fact 
or fiction, or a mixture of both. First discussed by Plato Atlantis has inspired academic writers and filmmakers alike. The story goes that a once great civilization far advanced from others at its time was destroyed by sinking into the sea after angering the gods. Written as fiction, some modern archaeologists are convinced that the city existed, while others believed it was complete fiction. Then there are those who believe that it might be based on some facts. One leading theory is that Plato may have utilized stories of the Thera eruption that survived through oral history. Archaeologists are aware of the thriving civilization that once inhabited the island of Santorini, which lies just the north of Crete, and some believe its destruction is what Plato was referring to. We might never know for sure whether some of the story is based on actual events, but it is one mystery that will continue to inspire many for generations to come. What do you think about the Atlantis? Number 1. Given the importance of Egypt in both the modern day and in history, it's hard to think that any nation once ruled them with an iron fist. Yet, that's exactly what the people of Nubia did. What might surprise you though, was that while the Nubia ruled over Egypt, which is known as the Black Dynasty because the Nubia were from Sudan and had darker skin, the nation was quite preposterous. It's noted as the 25th Dynasty and was said to have been a period of great stability. They ruled for some time before Pharaoh Sneferu came and took over Nubia and re-established self-control over Egypt. Eventually, the people of Nubia were assimilated into the grander scheme of the Egyptian Empire, though many artifacts of their kingdom remain, including hundreds of their own pyramids that they made. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, then like the video, subscribe, and comment down below if you have ever come across clues of a lost civilization. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.